Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In a concerted effort to bolster Ukraine's defense capabilities against Russian aggression, Prime Ministers Mark Ruta of the Netherlands, Petr Fiala of the Czech Republic, and Meta Fredriksen of Denmark recently convened to discuss additional support for Ukraine's air defense systems. The meeting was prompted by Prime Minister Ruta's first-hand observations during his March visit to Kharkiv alongside Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, where he witnessed the devastating impact of relentless Russian bombardments on civilian areas. Prime Minister Ruta emphasized the urgent need for Ukraine to enhance its defensive resources to counter Russian airstrikes effectively. Following his visit, discussions ensued among the leaders of the Netherlands, Denmark, and the Czech Republic on ways to strengthen Ukraine's air defense capabilities. Notably, the Netherlands, Denmark, and the Czech Republic have been pivotal in providing crucial air defense systems to Ukraine, bolstering its ability to counter aerial threats effectively. The Netherlands, for instance, has committed to supplying components of a Patriot air defense system, including two launchers and missiles. Additionally, the Dutch government facilitated the procurement of 100 vehicles equipped with anti-aircraft guns, sourced commercially from the Czech Republic. Similarly, the Czech Republic has played a significant role in enhancing Ukraine's air defense by providing modernized Czech weapons, including anti-aircraft systems, through a tripartite agreement with Denmark and the Netherlands. This collaboration has seen the supply of MR-2 Victor anti-aircraft systems and passive surveillance devices to Ukraine. The MR-2 Victor air defense system, developed by Czech company Excalibur Army, is tailored to address the escalating threat posed by drones. Mounted on a modified Toyota Land Cruiser chassis, it features a Soviet-era ZPU, two twin anti-aircraft gun capable of firing 14.5mm ammunition. Equipped with day-slash-night sighting systems for both air and ground targets, the MR-2 Victor effectively targets low-altitude aerial threats, including drones and helicopters. Importantly, the development of the MR-2 Victor system was partially funded through a crowdfunding campaign led by the Czech group Gift for Putin. This grassroots initiative underscores the growing public support for Ukraine and highlights the significance of cost-effective defense solutions in modern warfare scenarios. The adaptability of the MR-2 Victor system to evolving warfare dynamics, particularly the increasing use of drones by militaries, underscores its importance on the battlefield. By integrating advanced anti-drone capabilities, Ukraine strengthens its air defense strategy, providing a formidable defense against a wide array of aerial threats in contemporary warfare contexts. These collaborative efforts reflect broader international cooperation aimed at bolstering Ukraine's defense capabilities amidst ongoing aggression, underscoring the commitment of the Netherlands, Denmark, and the Czech Republic to support Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity. That's all for now. See you later.